And now, WCIA 3 Sports with Bryce Beamett. With the extreme heat yesterday, some high school football games didn't take place until today with Centennial playing Urbana earlier today at 2. Urbana has not played a varsity game in two years, not winning a varsity game since 2019. But Tigers down 7 in the first quarter, but stop the Chargers drive here. Alexander Davis is going to be ball hawking sky high to pick off the pass and give the ball back to his offense. But Urbana is going to be unable to do anything off the turnover, allowing Centennial to go right back to work. And they do just that as Kellen Davis makes up for the miscue, hitting Elliot Cato, Cato on the short slant to make it 14-0 after one. Later in the second, more from the Chargers. Davis airing it out to one of his favorite targets, Padmidi Ibn Emion, for the big game. They call him P for short, and it sets up another centennial score. And this time, Davis calls his own number, taking the long way for six, making several defenders miss him on the way to the end zone. It was 35-0 at a half. Centennial wins 49-14. Some games getting played very late last night because of the weather. Moreau Forsyth against Pleasant Plains didn't get restarted until after 10-15 last night. Trojans Caden Maurer with a QB hold to push his way in for a touchdown. Maurer is going to be feeling the pressure here. He breaks away from the defender and on the run finds Mitch Williams with a diving catch for a down. Setting themselves up for this play, Maurer hands off to Jalen Katzker, who pushes his way through the end zone for another chosen touchdown. Moreau Forsyth wins 63 to 14. And Villa Grove hosting Sullivan Okaw Valley starting in the second half today after the storm postponed the game. 13-7 Villa Grove QB Cooper Christensen hands off to Ian Fryman, who moves down the side and is in for a touchdown to tie up the game. Fryman with 17 carries for 138 yards. Christensen with the ball in the red zone hands off to Fryman once again, who gets through the gap and is in for for the touchdown to take the lead 1913 Christensen with a 148 passing yards Villa Groves Gunner Klein is going to run this one in for a touchdown to tie the game back up 1919 SOV goes on to win 39 23 now to Glenwood against Danville Glenwood's pass is going to get picked off here by Vikings Jerry Reed the third what a catch diving catch they're going to be setting up Danville for Darius J to find Javon Robinson wide open downfield as he runs it in for a touchdown to take the lead 6-0 Vikings are excited about that one at Glenwood Glenwood can be retaliating Brady Dwyer finds Johnny Helm for a nearly 30 yard throw and he'll make his way to the end zone Titans up now 7-6 at half. 14-6 Titans late. Phillip Shaw the fourth with a big dodge there. Dukes out two more defenders and makes his way for a Vikings touchdown. Glenwood, though, takes away the win 14-12. Bismarck heading Rossville. Alvin hosting Clifton Central. First half, Carson Stevenson with the throw to Aiden Ingram. Nice stiff arm there right here. And he's down the sideline. He's running fast, but not that fast. We had to speed it up to get the whole play. And takes it all the way to the house. 22-8 BHRA. Clifton Central QB Aiden Podowitz takes it himself. No taking him down as he takes it all the way to the 15. And Blue Devils, Stevenson is going to handle. Oh, still going there. My bad. As he takes it all the way. I mean, how many defenders is he going to get past here, Marley? I don't know. But anyways, Blue Devil Stevenson handoff to Devin Reed, who takes it down the same sideline and is gone to the end zone for a touchdown. 29-8 in the first half. BHRA wins this one 56-14. St. Thomas Moore at home against Blue Ridge Deland Weldon Knights with the ball and a huge sack by JJ Schmidt and watch a celebration there loses his helmet and everything he is hyped Sabres up 26 to 6 Knights not able to move with the Sabres defense another huge sack this time by August Chris Hilf and Sabres Reed Craddock with a nice throw here to Ben Horn to get the first down but Sabres win big 34 to 6.